Hey guys, this is BC Macaroni here, and today I'm going to be giving you a GIMP tutorial. Alright, so basically what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is I'm going to be changing a picture from this original picture over to this, which has more shadows, uh, rainbow colors, and a little name tag if you want. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go to File, Open, and I'm going to get choose a picture, you can choose whatever picture you want, I'm going to be choosing this this specific picture. And once you do that, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and click on background, and you want to duplicate that layer. Then you'll come up with one that says background copy. Click on background copy, and go over to colors, desaturate, and put it on lightness. You don't want it on anything else, unless you feel like it. I'm going to keep mine on lightness though. So. Alright, so after that you want to go to colors again, and click on brightness and contrast. Change your brightness and contrast. I'm going to put mine to 30, and then I'm going to change my contrast to 45. All right. So now, as you can see, it's a little bit more shaded than it used to be. Uh, then I'm going to change the opacity to 63.2. What this is going to do is going to darken it just a little bit more. Well, I mean, brighten it. All right. So. Now I'm going to duplicate the layer again, and we can raise the opacity whatever you want, 100, uh, 0, whatever you feel like. Uh, the main thing you want to do though is change the mode to overlay. If you don't do that, then it won't work right. Alright, so I'm going to lower it just a tiny bit. Right here is fine with me. Alright, so now, you see, now that you got the picture all shaded and everything, we're going to go ahead and add the rainbow colors to the sparkles. We're going to make a new layer, make sure it's on transparency, and then after that we're going to click on the blend tool, and we're going to go ahead and change the gradient to whatever you want. Mine's going to be on the rainbow, rainbow colors as usual. It's going to be on full saturation. After that you want to go ahead and move this as far as you want. Mine's going to be all the way over to the side, and it's going to be just a full out rainbow. After that, you want to go ahead and click on it, do Add Layer Mask, and put it on the black, full transparency. It's going to come up with the little girl again. After that, you want to change this part right here, which has the black and the white. Click on the little reverse sign. It'll change it to white and black. After you do that, go over to the little paintbrush. It's going to come up with the brush, and you want to click on the circle. Change it to the circle fuzzy, it's number 19. Put the scale to wherever you want. I'm going to put mine over to 4.57. And I'm going to change my mode to overlay, which you need to do if you want it. Alright, so now we're just going to fill in everything, get all the sparkles. Do, do, do. Yeah. I'm not trying to really rush this. I actually want to make it good because I'm going to probably use this later on. So as you can see, it's going from red to orange to green to yellow and soon it'll go to purple alright so this one I can just hold it down the whole time basically color in that whole hand there so this might take a while but uh... it should look good in the end Unless you just go crazy with it and just spray the color all over the place and you'll be able to see just the color everywhere and it will not look that good. As you can see, you can see like little glares and shadows and stuff because of the rainbow. Uh, if I was really trying to take my time on and make it where it's perfect and just colored in rainbow and not all this glare and everything. Uh, but, yeah, that's what it'll do. As you can see right now, that's what's happening basically. Which I do not like it. Do, do, do. I actually like the rainbow color. It looks really well. Especially with this girl. I think. Has a little red, purple. Looks really nice. It's 
especially since her hands are just poking out, just adds a perfect effect for it. As you can see, I got a little bit sloppy there, so it adds a little lines and everything. I'm not just clicking. Alright, now since we got that done, finally, we're going to finish that and we're going to go ahead and add the picture. So we're going to go ahead and add a new layer. Make sure it's on transparency again. And click on the alphabet. Get whatever you want. I'm going to put mine on the Queen Things or King Things Christmas. And I'm going to go ahead and put it right on her head. Let's see, what do I want to put? Happy Holidays. Alright, that looks really nice to me. Put it on black since you, can s you can't see it right now. Raise it to 50. Put it right here on our forehead. Alright, now we're gonna click on filters. But for, wait, that's up again. Uh, do text to selection, then go to filters. Go to alpha to logo, and put it over to frosty. Not glossy, but frosty. Oh, right there. You can change the effect size and everything that you want to. We're gonna keep mine on 100. And go ahead and load it. You'll see a bunch of things come up on this side. New layer one, shadow, matty, I don't know what that's called, sparkle. And wait till it's done. You can come up with this and you're gonna come up with a white background. Don't worry though, just go ahead and delete that white background. Which is the wheat layer. And there you go, you got yourself a little picture. Alright. So after all that, it should look like that. And you can go ahead and save it. So that's how you make it. So you edit everything, make it look all nice and pretty. So. And after all of it's done, it should like, look like this in your documents folder. Wherever you put it, that is. Do, do, do. I put mine in my pictures. And sure like it look like that and so I hope you enjoyed this video and this tutorial. Uh please rate and comment and thanks for watching.